Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, GTR Math Tutorial. So for today's video, I uh, will discuss integrals of powers of sines and cosines, case number 3. So I hope you already watched the case number 1 and 2 in the previous video. So when M and N are both even integers, so M and N here are both even integers, either both positive or one positive and one zero. Okay, so if the other is zero, that means the integrand is sine only or cosine only. Or if we have both, then oh, both the exponents must be even. If not, and then we will use case 1 and case 2. Okay, so these are the identities that we are going to use. Sine squared v equals 1 minus cosine 2v over 2. And cosine squared v is equal to 1 plus cosine 2v over 2. And that identity was derived by using this... Uh, Double angle, so cosine 2v equals cosine squared v minus sine squared v. So if we solve for, if we use identity for cosine squared v, that will be cosine squared v will become 1 minus. Okay, so let's write. So we have identity cosine squared v plus sine squared v is equal to 1. So if we solve for cosine squared v, that will be 1 minus sine squared v. So if we substitute 1 minus sine squared v to this and then combine to minus sine squared v, so therefore we have 1 minus 2 sine squared v. And then if we solve for sine squared v, we will arrive to this. 1 minus cosine 2v over 2. So same thing if we if we substitute the value of, if we use identity for sine squared v, then we will get uh, cosine 2v equals 2, cosine square v, square v minus 1. And then if we solve cosine square v, then we will get this identity. Cosine squared v is equal to 1 plus cosine 2v over 2. Okay, so you must uh, memorize this uh, two identities. We will use these identities if the exponents are both even. Okay, so if the exponents are both even, then we use this. If not, If one is odd, then we will use this identity. Okay, so example number, yeah, number 5 and 6. So try to solve first before watching my solution. Okay, so let's start. Number 5, integral of sine to the fourth dx. Okay, integral of sine to the fourth dx. So first we need to express sine to the fourth as sine square, sine square x. So we forgot to write the x. We forgot to write the angle x. Okay, so sine squared x and then square since it is to the fourth. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4 dx. And then apply the identity. The identity for sine square is 1 minus cosine double the angle. So we have 2x over 2 and then square dx. So apply the square of binomial formula. So we have a minus b squared that is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So apply this and then distribute the square to the numerator and denominator. So the, the denominator will become 2 square and that is 4. So j just move the constant of uh, 1 fourth across the integral sign. So we have 1 fourth integral of, apply this. So therefore we have a square of 1, we have 1. 1 square is 1 minus twice the product of 1 and cosine 2x. So we have 2 cosine 2x plus square of the last term, cosine square 2x. Then we have dx. Okay, now distribute the one-fourth and the dx, so therefore, and the integral sign, so therefore we have one-fourth times one times dx, so one-fourth integral of dx minus one-fourth times two, that will be one-half, one-half integral of cosine 2x dx, and then one-fourth plus one-fourth integral of cosine squared 2x dx. So we have direct formula for the first two. For this, we will reapply the identity for uh, even, even, even number exponent of cosine. Okay, so we will use the identity for this uh, 1 plus cosine 2x ayan, or 2v ayan, over, over 2. So equal siya sa cosine squared v. Okay, so for this, we have direct formula cosine. Integral of cosine, cosine u is equal to sine u 
plus C. Integral of cosine u du, that is equal to sine u plus C. So for the first, the integral of this is 1 fourth. Integral of dx is x minus, so we have 1 half. We have the direct formula for this. Cosine u, the integral of cosine u is sine u plus C, but we have neutralizing factor because the angle is 2x. So therefore, our u, if, if u is 2x, our du will be 2dx since we don't have 2 here. So therefore, we're going to have a neutralizing factor of the reciprocal of 2. We have 1 half. And then integral of cosine 2x is sine. Sine 2x. And then for this, just reapply the identity. So we have plus 1 fourth. Integral of the identity for is cosine square is 1 plus cosine Twice the angle, 2x will become 4x over 2, and then we have dx. Okay, so let's just simplify. So continue to this part. So we have 1 fourth x equals 1 fourth x, and then simplify this 1 half times 1 half. That will be 1 fourth sine 2x, and then we have 1 fourth times 2. So that will be 1 8 times 1 times dx. So plus 1 8 integral of dx and then 1 fourth times 2, another 1 8, plus 1 8, integral of cosine 4x. Integral of cosine 4x dx. Okay, so evaluate the integral, 1 fourth x minus 1 fourth sine 2x, plus we have 1 8 dx, so that will be uh, 1 8, 1 8 x, and then for this, just use uh, the direct formula, just like the one half integral of cosine 2x. So we have our u will, will be 4x, and then the we have we will have a neutralizing factor of 1 fourth. Then apply this formula. Okay, so 1 8 x plus 1 8 times the neutralizing factor. We have 1 fourth. Direct formula for cosine u is sine sine u, our u is 4x, so sine 4x plus c. So just simplify, we can combine 1 fourth x and 1 eighth x. 1 fourth can be changed to 2 over 8. That's the same. So that we have similar fraction. So 2 over 8 plus 1 over 8, that will be 3 over 8 x. And then minus 1 fourth sine 2 x plus 1 over 8 times uh, 1 fourth is equal to 1 over 32 sine 4 x plus c. So this is the final answer. Okay, so next number six. So for, for number six, so we have sine squared x cosine to the fourth x dx. So we will use the identity for sine squared and then for cosine, cosine squared. So we will express this as cosine. We will express first as cosine squared cosine square x and then square okay so just apply the the ident the identity for sine square sine squared v is equal to uh 1 minus cosine 2v over 2 and then for cosine square v we have 1 plus cosine 2v over 2 okay so therefore we have so this is equal to Integral of sine square, so we have identity 1 minus cosine twice the angle, so cosine 2x over 2. And then this will be 1 plus cosine uh, 2x over 2 and then square. And then we have dx. Okay, so let's expand this. Because uh, we can use the in, uh, special product for this. We have 1 minus cosine 2x and 1 plus cosine 2x. And then for this, we have 2 times 2 and then square. So this will become 2 square 4 times 2. So let's just move this 1, 8 outside. Okay, and then we will going to have here 1 minus cosine 2x and then 1 plus cosine 2x and another 1 plus cosine 2x dx. Okay, so for these two terms, we can apply the special product. So we have special product. Uh, if we have a plus b 
times a minus b, that is equal to a square minus b square. Okay, so apply that. Apply that special product. So therefore, we will go, we're going to have 1 8. Integral of for these two terms, the square of 1 is 1 minus square of uh, cosine 2x. So we have cosine squared 2x. And then multiply this. So 1 plus cosine 2x. And then we have dx. Okay, so next step is to apply the FOIL method. Just distribute. Distribute 1. Distribute 1 to this. Okay, and then distribute negative cosine 2x. Okay, so apply the apply the FOIL method. Okay, so at the same time, let's uh, distribute the integral sign and the dx and the 1, 8. So therefore, we have 1, 8 integral of 1 times 1. So that is 1 dx or simply dx. Okay, and then 1 times cosine 2x. So therefore, we have plus 1, 8 integral of cosine 2x cosine 2x dx and then we have negative cosine squared 2x so distribute that so we have the sign will be negative 1 8 integral of cosine squared 2x cosine squared 2x dx and then last cosine squared 2x times cosine 2x so we have and then the 1 8 so we have negative 1 8 integral of cosine squared 2x and cosine 2x so that will be cosine cube cosine cube uh, 2x dx. Okay, so now we, we have a direct formula for the first and second terms. For the third term, we will use, uh, we will reapply the identity. And then for the third term, this is case 1, case 1 or case 2 because the, the exponent is odd number. So we will use the, if the exponent is odd number, we will use the Identity, the identity for cosine square uh, v is equal to 1 minus sine square v. So we will use this in this uh, fourth int integral. Okay, so therefore we have, so this we have direct formula for this. So the formula for this is 1 8 x. And then for this term, uh, integral of cosine cosine x. So we have direct formula integral of cosine u du is equal to sine u, sine u plus c. Okay, but our u here is 2x, so therefore we have neutralizing factor of 1 half. Okay, so therefore we have 1 8 x plus 1 8 times the neutralizing factor of 1 half and then direct formula for cosine u we have sine u plus c, so therefore this will be sine 2x sine 2x minus, so apply the identity for this, so we have 1 8 Integral of, so reapply this identity, so cosine, so that will be 1 plus cosine. 1 plus cosine twice the angle. So 2x, the angle will become 4x over over 2. And then for this term, we have minus 1, 8. Then we will break this into, we'll break this into cosine, cosine square 2x and then times cosine times cosine 2x dx, and then we will apply the identity, which is 1 minus sine square. Okay, so therefore, we're going to have uh, 1 minus sine square 2x times cosine 2x dx. Okay, so we, have, uh, we forgot the dx in this part. So let's uh, distribute. Let's distribute. So we have 1 8 x plus 1 8 times 1 half. So that is 1 over 16 sine 2 x minus 1 8 times 2. So we have 1 over 16 integral of dx. And then we have minus 1 8 another times 2. So minus 1 over 16 integral of cosine cosine 4 x dx. So we have here minus, so minus 1, 8 integral of cosine 2x. So distribute this to ayan, cosine 2x dx. And then last part is minus 1, 8 and then minus. So this will become plus 1, 8 integral of sine square, sine square 2x, cosine 2x dx. 
Okay, so let's uh, simplify or evaluate the integral. We can evaluate the integral of each. So let's put the solution here. Just copy 18x. 18x and then just copy this what plus 1 over 16 sine 2x and then we have minus 1 over 16 dx so that will be 1 minus 16 16x this will be combined later 1 over 8x and minus 1 over 16x then we have direct formula for this cosine 4x so we have cosine nu du equals sine nu plus c but we have integrate uh, neutralizing factor 1 fourth because our u here is 4x okay so therefore we are going to have minus 1 over 16 times the neutralizing factor 1 fourth and then we have sine integral is sine so therefore we have sine of the angle 4x and then minus so we again we have direct formula for this. So we have neutralizing factor of one half. So minus one over one one eight times the, the neutralizing factor one half, and then we have sine sine two x. And then last lastly we have plus or dito ko na plus one over eight. So derivative. Uh, so we will apply uh integral of u to the n u to the n du in this part because the our u is sine 2x so this is our u the differential of sine 2x is cosine cosine 2x times 2 dx so this will be our du we have neutralizing factor of the reciprocal of 2 one half so therefore we have 1 8 times the neutralizing factor one half times apply the integral u to the n we have u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c so therefore 1 8 times 1 half times sine just add 1 to the exponent so we have sine cube 2x over over 3 plus c and then we will simplify combine like terms 1 over 8x minus 1 over 16x that is equal to 1, 1 over 8 will become 2 over 2 over 16 and then we combine 2 over 16 minus 1 over 16 so that will give us 1 over 16x and then we can also combine this 1 over 16 sine 2x and then this term 1 of minus 1 over 16 1 8 times 1 over 16 so this is another 1 over 16 sine 2x so this can be cancelled out because the 1 over 16 and minus 1 over 16 so cancel out na to. that is zero so therefore, just simplify these two terms, 1, 2. So therefore, we have minus 1 over 16 times 1 fourth. So we have 1 over 64 sine 4x. And then the last term will be plus 1, 8 times 1 half times 3. So just multiply the denominators, 8 times 2 times 3. 8 times 2 times 3. Okay, so that will be 1, 8, 1 half, and then 3. We have 1 over 48 sine cube of 2x plus c. So this will be the final answer. Okay, so that's it. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from my uh, video. And then if you have math question, just comment your math question in this channel or in my FB group or just DM me in Messenger, RJ Enseñado. So thank you for watching again. Bye-bye and God bless.